six steps you need to break into UX design without spending a dime. These steps will help you establish yourself and give you a foundation for a successful future career. Creators all over the place have made design more accessible, which is a great thing. Being a designer is really cool and anyone can become one. It's worth noting, however, that watching some very cool TikToks is different from reading up on the design industry or trying your hand at wire framing for the first time. What are a UX designer's responsibilities? What's their average salary? What's the average designer's career trajectory? Beyond what you've seen so far, have you watched a Figma tutorial or looked up different design terms? You certainly don't have to, but now is the time and that is the way to figure out if design is a career for you. We are in the tutorial golden age. You can easily stress test whether you like the idea of being a designer or if you like actual design work. Your next step should be interviewing UX designers at companies big and small. What does their day-to-day -day look like? What design tools do they use? How is their team structured? How many projects are they balancing at one time? Do they focus on the full design process or do they specialize? Practicing designers will be able to tell you how to prepare your career transition. And if you find a mentor through your interviews, then congratulations, you've won the lottery. Don't know any designers? There are some great design mentorship sites out there. I've personally used used ADP list and I highly recommend it. Based on your informational interviews, you'll get a sense of what the modern design process looks like now. Which softwares, tools, user research methods, design principles, and accessibility guidelines are most relevant to practicing designers. You should also be asking about people skills. Should you get comfortable with certain documentation formats? What's an executive summary? And how often do designers have to make one? Which design steps come first if you're making something from scratch? And does that step change with company size? Write everything down, map everything out, and start getting real about which skills you have and which skills you don't. Online tools like UX Project Checklist can help with the skills mapping portion, but remember not to be too hard on yourself. Pick one or two skills you think you could reasonably focus on for the next two months and start bridging that skills gap. Read recommended books, look up specific exercises. It's probably gonna feel lonely and you are probably gonna feel a little bit stupid, but you won't forever. And a cool design career is worth the work. Among those skills, be sure to include learning UX design tools. By now, you'll have a list of the most important design tools at your fingertips. I can tell you right now that list will include Adobe Creative Suite, Figma, and at least a little bit of HTML, CSS. If you were guessing what time it is, you already know it is tutorial time. Figma particularly has an incredible community with lots of free templates and exercises, and we will link that down in the description. Learning the most important design tools on your own might seem counterintuitive, but self-study is a great habit to build. More tools are gonna come out in the future and you'll want to be able to teach yourself those tools too. Practicing new design skills can really be as simple as designing an app for a cherished local business. They don't even have to know that you're doing it. Intimidating as it is, I don't think any business or person worth their salt would turn down free design work. Give yourself the opportunity to design projects that align with your interests. Plus solving a real world problem for real people can be incredibly rewarding. You may find it's the reason you like design in the first place. A good design portfolio shows future employers you know what you're doing. Portfolios can do other things too, but showcasing your new skill, skills you've worked so hard to achieve is the entire point of a portfolio. Include contact information and a couple resume points, but the way you show off your skills, how do you want to tell your story, is up to you. We cover UX design portfolios in a different video. We'll leave the link in our description, but when you're starting out, the best portfolio is the one that actually exists. If you've made it to this point, you're incredible. You've done such great work and you deserve to show it off. Breaking into a new field is challenging, but we know it's possible. Take your first design steps with our Design Learning Hub, a free forever resource design repository with everything from articles to tutorials to free UX design courses linked in the description below. There are as many ways to get into design as there are designers, and you can be the designer you've always thought you could be.